Okay, in this guide, I'm going to show you how to get a phone number for Google My Business. This is a Twilio uh, virtual phone number. And the reason we want to do this it, this way is because these can be recorded. Um, your business can have quality control. You can know, um, you know your sales team when you have inbound calls. You can uh, start to round robin those phone calls. So in other words, if someone's currently on a call, um, if somebody else calls in, it'll allow to go to the next salesperson. So you start getting a ton of calls, you need to start having this technology that can do round robin, you can do, uh, you can record the calls and you can check for quality um, and forward those calls in certain, um, to certain people. So I'm gonna show you um, the best way to start this is to just obtain a Twilio phone number. And the first step is to create a Twilio account. So sign up for free, you just go here, sign up. Uh, I'll just go ahead and sign up with my name. Okay. And start your free trial. So after you, um, okay, what, what we're gonna do, we're gonna generate, generate a password. And we'll fill that and then um, start our free trial. Pick the spiral galaxy. Well, look, this one looks like spiral. Okay, we sent an email, you confirm. Great. And you do need to verify a phone number. Okay, now you've confirmed that you are a human. I'm here to use a voice. What do you plan to build with Twilio? Uh, maybe a contact center. That looks good. Um, contact center. That's good. And um, how do you want to build with Twilio? With code, with minimal code, with no code at all. Honestly, I would like to do it with no code at all, but some people have code. What's your goal today is to talk, let's see, explore what my team can build, build something myself. Get started, here we go. Okay. My first Twilio account. This is not my first Twilio account, but this is Okay, explore and pin products to your navigation. Okay. View your logs and sites in a dedicated area. Manage your account, keys, build trust with your customers. Access billing, usage information. Create and switch between Twilio accounts. Oh, that's cool. Replay tour, done. Okay, so what we want is voice. Uh, and actually what we need is we need a phone number so we're going to buy a number. And uh, this is a business that is located here in Missouri. So we're gonna create a, we're gonna search for a Missouri. Um, so here we go, so Blairstown, Missouri, that's pretty dang close to where we are. Sandsbury, Butler, Sedalia is good, 1836. Sedalia, I think Sedalia would be a really great, let's do that, 460-1836, Four, four six zero eighteen thirty six. that's easy to remember as well. So before we just jump with it, what you need to do is you need to verify that there's no spam involved with this phone number. So, 
got to search it. Let's just see if there's any spam. So it looks to me like that's probably safe enough because I really couldn't find anything on it. 660, 460, 1836. I really, I just don't see anything on here except for in these databases, but these look like mass databases that just try to contain whatever they can contain. But I don't see any spam going on here. So I think this one is a decent one to start with. Okay, so we're gonna buy that. It's only $1.15 monthly. This one has, this is good. So voice, fax, SMS, MMS. Um, the addition of an emergency address after you purchase to avoid a fee. Uh, voice and messaging will be routed to the United States region. You can reroute in the number configuration after purchase. So I agree and I comply and we're going to buy. Great, so you have purchased this phone number. So now we want to configure. Great, so this is our business phone number. So, so add emergency address. Let's just go ahead and add this emergency address. So that way we don't have to pay $75. Emergency address is in there. Great. All right. Emergency address registration is pending. That's fine. Okay, so uh, let's see. Okay. Log. Okay. Messages log. No outgoing messages log on this phone. Events log. Regulatory information. Okay, it's compliant. So that's how we configure that for now. Great. Okay, and that's how you get a phone number for your Google My Business. And this phone number can then be configured to route calls and um, there's other things to do to set this up, but at least now you have a phone number that's capable of doing that. And now we can register our business on Google My Business and use this phone number and then come in and, and verify the code and everything with this phone number. So that is, uh, that's how you do it.